Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and recently I've had a few requests to do a slightly more complicated build, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. If you like it, please let me know. If you want to see more simple stuff, let me know as well. Or a mixture of both, of course. But in today's video, we're going to be making a bolt action rifle. For this project, you'll need a few various tube sizes for the barrel, and you'll need one tube that fits inside the larger diameter tube. You'll need something for a handle, such as this old candy container. I have a red dot sight for fun. You'll need a spring, some elastics, some dowels or corks for plugging the tubes, a popsicle stick or a bolt, exacto knife, marker, ruler, scissors, and a hot glue gun. So how the bolt action rifle is going to work is basically we're going to make a barrel out of one large tube and the back half of the gun out of the other tube and the smaller tube is going to be your bolt and you must ensure that it slides freely in and out of both ends of the tube for no friction and then what I have done off camera but it's really simple just take your marker use a ruler start on both edges making lines completely across from each other so that you can make two perfectly straight lines on either side of the tube and then you're going to go ahead and take your exacto knife and cut out those slots wide enough for the popsicle stick here's the completed slot i made i end up using a bandsaw to cut down the middle here and then an exacto knife to finish it off by making a hole big enough for your popsicle stick on one side and flipping it over, sticking it through on the other side so that you can lock it in place. Now to finish off the barrel, all you have to do is cut the end piece behind the slot to about one inch, and then take your other tube that we'll use for the barrel itself, and tape it directly over top, ensuring of course there is still room to slide the stick through it. And there's your completed barrel assembly. Now we're going to quickly move on here to the starting of the bolt. And the first step of that is to take the end of your bolt and just drill two very small slots. So that your popsicle stick can be placed in those slots. And then we're just going to go ahead and take some hot glue. Don't put it on the outside or else it will interfere with the friction. We're just going to place them just like that. And like that. Go ahead and wait for that to dry, and we'll put it inside the gun. Now, unfortunately, I messed up. You cannot attach the barrel before putting the bolt in because there's obviously, there'd be no way to get it in if the barrel was together like that. So I had to undo the tape to take the barrel apart. Then to finish off the bolt, put your spring on top of the popsicle stick as shown. Then in the back of the bolt, I've hot glued a cork and then taped it to make it as strong as possible. And then when we go ahead and put these two pieces together, the spring should compress about that much on the end of my cork. And then we'll go ahead and put the barrel to the back of the bolt. So there it is assembled and as you can imagine the idea is when you pull the bolt back it compresses the spring. And then to lock it, you just turn it sideways, and now we have a compressed spring, and the fins on the popsicle stick are locked right there on those notches. Sorry, it's hard to see. But when you flick it up, it shoots forwards. Uh, now let's go ahead and attach the handle. For today's handle, we're going to be using an old Tic Tac box, and I'm just going to go ahead and put a bunch of hot glue on top of it. And then I'm going to position it right under the bolt, about there. Squish it in place. Let's go ahead and wait for that to dry. So there's the handle attached to the back of our gun. I removed the barrel again because I'm going to be doing a quick modification. Hope you guys aren't following exactly along or else you'll probably be a little mad at me. But basically I found this pin 
it's metal it fits almost perfectly in the barrel just gotta press it in a little bit and that of course will block off the end to make sure our projectile doesn't just get stuck in the in the bolt and it makes it a little heavier and makes it feel a little more realistic now the last step is to make a slot in your barrel for ammo loading and to do that first bring the bolt as far back as possible and lock it in place you can still see I have a bit of bolt overhang sorry I have to squeeze it closed bolt overhang here so when the barrels are attached that's as far back as it'll go so what you want to do is cut a slot just in front so that when you pull your bolt back you'll have an opening where you can load in ammo and other projectiles there's the final slot I made right now the bolt is in the forward most position and as you can see it's closed but when you go ahead and load the rifle by pulling back and sliding to lock it in place you can see it becomes opened up and you can go ahead and put something in there before pushing down or pulling up of course and shooting the projectile forward. I also finished off the rifle by adding a red dot sight. Obviously it's not super accurate but kind of a cool feature. And I did a secondary piece of tubing to make it a little sturdier because as you can imagine the barrel has some flex and gives you a nice spot to hold on to in combination with the handle. So why don't we get to some shooting tests. Alright so for today's shooting test we're going to be using some BBs. Now before I get started I'd like to say this spring here isn't super powerful actually. So it's not going to be a very powerful gun. And so please don't knock me for it. This is fine for me. I'm just going to be showing you guys that the motion works. If you want it more powerful you can either get a stronger spring. Which unfortunately I don't have with me. Or simply take an elastic. Wrap it up and around both of the bolts then stretch it all the way over to the end of your barrel and place it right there if you want something a little more powerful but I'm just inside right now so I might do that after but for now let's start with the basic shooting test our target is going to be that balloon over there it was my birthday yesterday fun fact so all you're going to want to do is take the bolt pull it back twist it like a real bolt action rifle and now it's locked in position as you can see the opening is open we're gonna go ahead and put the BB in it should stay in place because the bolts right there go ahead and aim it at the target of course you can use any ammunition not just a BB for fun let's turn on the red dot sight see if it actually works and then I'm gonna go ahead and push down the bolt three two one I did hit the balloon in fact, so as I said, not very powerful, but it does the job. Let's just for fun do one with a extra power elastic on the barrel, just like that. Go ahead and pull this things back as normal. Put another BB in the barrel. You know what, why not do shotgun style? Let's do two BBs. Aim at the balloon again. Turn on the laser dot sight because we're cool. Firing in three, two, one. A little more powerful, like I said. So like I said, it's not the most powerful gun in the world. This was just to show you how to make the mechanism and a basic shooting test. As always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, Check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.